Now, I would like to give the floor to our moderator, the Minister of Agriculture of France, Mr. Stephen Lefort. You have the floor. Thank you, Director General. You recalled that this meeting was uh, something which was mentioned during your visit in Paris and during the meeting that you had with the President of the Republic. Of course, I am gratified that this uh, meeting could take place. We need places for discussion in order to discuss and coordinate the large policies which need to be in place in the area of agriculture and food. Hunger in the world remains a priority, and it must remain a priority, and it should mobilize all of the actors to so that this scourge, which has existed since the beginning of humanity, finishes, ends, and is one day conquered. Director General, we have an objective uh, today to take stock of the elements uh, implemented during the G20 discussions and uh, what was also discussed here in the framework of the Committee on World Food Security since its res reform and it is along these lines that we wish to have this exchange of views on three major subjects. The first one is the issue of transparency and policy coordination on a global level and AMIS, the, de um, the decisions and uh, so on which have been implemented have been very important during this time of tension on the grain market. The Rapid Response Forum, even though it has not formally met, has also worked to, it has allowed large countries to exchange information and has managed to avoid uh, decisions which could have been even more serious for the situation on the food markets. This is something we need to be clear on this morning. These tools are online, they work. That's the first message that we wanted to bring up. The second thing, uh, the second decision, discussion point, I beg your pardon, is the food challenge that we are facing, the fact that world demography continues uh, to uh, continues to show that uh, the number of people in the world uh, is increasing. So how are we going to manage to uh, deal with the issue of uh, supply and demand in food? And so we have various elements and aspects which we need to be implemented. Uh, firstly, um, uh, research and develop production. And there are also some examples uh, which are ongoing at the moment and which are very important the capacity that we have to assist uh, family farmers to develop their production and to organize themselves better too, to also avoid land grabbing and uh, the agreement that we have on the uh, voluntary guidelines here is very important. And I'd also like to say finally that investment needs to be at the level of production but also at the level of processing and storage of agricultural products. Today, in developing countries, we still lose around about 30% of what is produced. And before increasing production, there is first and foremost a need to avoid losing a part of what is produced. So this is something that we also could consider in the discussions we will have. Now, price volatility and the ability that we have to manage uh, the consequences of uh, price development, agricultural price developments, and especially um, price spikes. These can sometimes be huge. We saw this this summer with uh, grains, and this has a knock-on effect on the poorest uh, populations and countries, and therefore we have a, a role and discussion to have on how we should manage volatility and at the same time how we should deal with the causes of this volatility. These are all the issues at stake, the issue of uh, strategic reserves, um, measures at a uh, 
as a food level which are being implemented after decisions taken in the G20 and also issues relating to how we can manage the strategic reserves, strategic food reserves on a world level so as to ensure that uh, that there are difficulties due to weather conditions, uh, lower supply, despite a high demand. The aim of our commitment meeting today is to find and multiply the spaces in which we can discuss the implementation of actions and uh, extension of the discussions that we had during the G20 and also to remain mobilized so as to ensure that fighting hunger is a major issue.